I and mean, this team may not want to play on Mondays going forward. Going back to 2008, they're two and eight on Monday night's worst winning percentage of any team in that span. And after the game, Monday Night Football's Booger McFarlane was asked about Jay Gruden's future as the head coach. You look at the Redskins; they're 0 and they're 0 and three right now, and the offense is lackluster. I think we're at a point right now in Jay Gruden's tenure where it's not if he's going to be fired, it's when. That certainly does Ooh. seem to feel that way. And, I, you know, you hate talking about people like that, but that does seem to be the reality of the situation. Jeremy Fowler, our insider, what are you hearing? Well, talking to some people around the league, the expectation is that Gruden will get at least a little bit of time in part because of his quarterback situation. He took on Case Keenum in part because of Alex Smith. So he's dealing with, with issues there. But the bigger issue is losing the locker room because you have players openly questioning why a, a talented offense can't move the ball with all its playmakers. And that's how you lose your job. You couple that with one winning season going on his sixth year. And that's a problem. Absolutely. And then uh, as far as the quarterback is concerned, is there an expectation he will make that change reasonably soon? Not yet. Jay Gruden is on record saying he's not. There's no buzz in the background that he will, but eventually this will happen. Mike T, when it gets to a place like this, what, what, what does the franchise need to do? Keep an eye on Kevin O'Connell, the offensive coordinator of the Washington Redskins. They learned their lesson. Sean McVay was there. He left for the Rams. Obviously, he's done a great job. Kevin O'Connell was a quarterback in this league. Rex Ryan thought he was the smartest quarterback he had ever been around. He said he was born to be a head coach. I'm sure that's somebody they're keeping a very close eye on, and they would hate to lose him. We'll see how it goes with Jay Gruden, but Kevin O'Connell could be a factor in that decision. Do you think it is time to make a change in Washington? At quarterback or head coach? At, well, <laughs> <laughs> you sort of jumped ahead of me to the macro, I guess. Um, that, that certainly feels as though it's coming. Well, would you, If you were Jay Gruden right now, would you go to the bullpen? I probably would, yeah. And I know that's, that's against a lot of the things that I believe in when it's a grooming a young quarterback. But the fact that Terry McLaurin is playing so well at wide receiver is encouraging to me. And at some point, I've got to see if Dwayne Haskins – can be my version of, I guess we want to call it a Daniel Jones, especially since he came out and played so well. Dwayne Haskins, the thing that will allow him to play well, I believe early on, is he can think. He's smart. That'll allow him to understand defenses and run their football team. We have an idea of who Case Keenum is, right? It might be time to figure out who Haskins is. That offensive line will need to play a lot better. But Dan made the point that, that I think everyone already, and Jay Gruden himself said, if this doesn't go well, he's going to get fired. I think that sort of is in the air. Does it feel like there is a more directionless Almost hopeless kind of franchise in the sport right now. There are worse teams, but it just doesn't feel like it's moving in any direction right now. It's going to be weird for me to say that either you want to be bad or you want to be good. You never want to just meander along. That's what yeah. the Redskins have been doing. During Alex Smith time, they had some direction, unfortunately, with the injury to him and Colt McCoy as well. But when you look at what the Redskins are, like I played in this division eight years. This is the Redskins. The Washington Redskins are never supposed to be in the situation that they're in right now when you don't, you don't, we don't, they're an afterthought. Think about that. And the Washington, Washington Redskins are, the, are an afterthought in the NFL. That was a home game for the Bears last night. If you watched it, they were outnumbered yes. in their own stadium. Dude, I mean, let's call fans. it what it is, though. I mean, they've got one 10 win season since 2006 yep. for one of the great franchises in the history of the NFL and great fan bases. Of the NFL, this is an organization. Mandering is a great thing. They're just kind of boring. They're yeah, there. just there. Never great, never brutal. Everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.